In just one week, the Philippines has been rocked by three earthquakes, each in a different region, each powerful enough to rattle millions awake. To most people, it feels like bad luck, but geologists say it's something far bigger and far more complicated. The Philippines isn't just sitting on one fault line, it's caught in a geological crossfire, squeezed between four massive tectonic plates, each pushing from a different direction. That's why hundreds of earthquakes strike here every year and why scientists believe one trench in particular could unleash the next disaster. Today, we're diving beneath the islands to uncover the hidden forces shaping one of the most earthquake-prone nations on Earth and the fault line that might be waking up right now. Every few days, somewhere in the Philippines, the ground moves. Most of the time, it's small, a tremor you barely feel, a light sway of hanging lamps or a ripple across a glass of water. But sometimes, it's not small at all. Every year, the Philippines experiences more than 100 measurable earthquakes. Around 20 of them are strong enough to cause damage, collapsing homes, cracking roads, and toppling bridges. And several times a decade, one of them turns deadly. In late 2024, a magnitude 6.8 quake shook Mindanao, toppling buildings in General Santos. Just months later, a series of smaller quakes rippled through Samar and Luzon, hundreds of kilometers apart. Proof that the entire archipelago is under tension. According to Five Alks, that activity isn't slowing down. In 2025 alone, the number of microquakes has already doubled compared to the same period last year. Many clustered around known fault lines, but some appearing where no fault was mapped before. So what's happening beneath the islands? Why does this small nation endure so much shaking when other countries along the same ring of fire don't? The answer lies in geography and a violent collision happening miles underground. Because the Philippines isn't just sitting on the ring of fire, it's trapped inside it. If you could peel back the ocean and look at the Earth's crust from above, the Philippines would look like a battlefield of moving plates. Four massive slabs of rock, the Eurasian, Philippine Sea, Pacific, and Sunda plates are all colliding, sliding, and grinding beneath the islands at once. Most countries only deal with one or two tectonic boundaries. The Philippines is surrounded by four. It's like standing in the center of a four-way intersection where every car refuses to stop. To the west, the Eurasian plate is slowly diving beneath the islands, pushing upward the mountains of Luzon. To the east, the Philippine Sea Plate is being forced downward into the mantle. From the south, the Sunda Plate presses northward, and to the northeast, the mighty Pacific Plate keeps shoving west, one of the fastest moving plates on Earth. This collision zone isn't stable, it's a constantly tightening knot of pressure. Every inch the plates move, just a few centimeters a year, adds more strain along hundreds of fault lines cutting across the country. The result? The islands don't just shake. They bend, twist, and rise. In some places, mountains are still growing. In others, the ground is literally sinking beneath the sea. That's why earthquakes here aren't isolated. They're all connected, part of one enormous grinding machine that never stops. But there's a reason some quakes hit harder than others. And it's buried deep beneath the waves, where the seafloor folds into trenches capable of reshaping entire coastlines. Stretching like a massive horseshoe around the Pacific, the Ring of Fire is where the planet stores most of its energy, and the Philippines sits right at its heart. Here, the seafloor is constantly folding, cracking, and diving beneath the islands, carving deep ocean trenches that mark the front lines of Earth's most violent collisions. There are seven major trenches surrounding the Philippines, each capable of creating disaster. To the west lies the Manila Trench, lurking beneath the South China Sea. If it ruptures, it could unleash a magnitude 8.5 earthquake and send a tsunami toward Luzon in under 20 minutes. Scientists call it the country's sleeping giant, silent for centuries, yet loaded with strain. On the opposite side sits the Philippine Trench, one of the deepest on Earth, plunging over 34,000 feet below the surface. When that trench shifts, the shock ripples across entire island chains. Further south, the Cotabato Trench has a darker history. In 1976, it triggered a tsunami that killed over 8,000 people, and new data shows it's building pressure again. Each trench has its own rhythm, but together they create a deadly symphony, one where any wrong note could rewrite the map. And it's not just what happens offshore that matters. Because beneath the islands themselves lies a second threat, one that doesn't come from the sea, but from directly underfoot. 
While the trenches offshore can trigger tsunamis, the real danger for millions of Filipinos lies beneath their own streets. Running the length of the country is the Philippine Fault System, a 1,200-kilometer fracture that slices straight through Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Unlike the deep ocean trenches, these faults rupture right under cities. When they move, there's no distant warning, no tsunami siren, just shaking that starts instantly and violently. One of the most feared is the Marikina Valley Fault, which cuts directly through Metro Manila, home to over 13 million people. Geologists warn that if it slips with a magnitude 7.2 earthquake, parts of the capital could collapse within seconds. Buildings, bridges, even elevated highways are built right on top of it. Further south, the Mindanao Fault System weaves through Davao and General Santos, regions that have seen repeated quakes in recent years. Some scientists believe those tremors are the fault's way of warning that more energy is building below. Across the islands has mapped hundreds of active fault traces cutting through towns and farmland. They look like harmless ridges or dried riverbeds until the day they wake up. And that's the unsettling truth. In the Philippines, the ground itself is divided. It's not just surrounded by danger, it is danger. The Philippines shakes so often, not because it's unlucky, but because it's alive. Beneath the islands, the planet is constantly in motion. The tectonic plates that form the Earth's crust move only a few centimeters each year, about the same speed your fingernails grow. But their weight and pressure are beyond comprehension. When they grind, collide, and lock together, the energy builds silently over decades, until, in a single violent instant, it's released. Every earthquake is part of that cycle, a momentary breath in the planet's endless rhythm of creation and destruction. Mountains rise, valleys sink, new islands form from the sea floor. But even as each quake relieves tension, it also redistributes stress, loading neighboring faults like a chain reaction. It's a process that never truly ends, a heartbeat that pulses beneath the entire archipelago. And this is what makes the Philippines unique. There's no true safe zone. Whether you live on the coast or deep inland, every island sits within range of a trench or fault capable of movement. Five Volk scientists say the goal isn't to stop the quakes, that's impossible, but to understand where the next one is most likely to start. Because the more we learn about these invisible pressures, the closer we get to predicting which fault might be next to break. In 2025, scientists monitoring the Philippine Fault Network began noticing something unusual. Tiny tremors, the kind that usually pass unnoticed, were clustering in patterns they'd never seen before. Dozens of microquakes were striking beneath Mindanao, some over 20 kilometers deep, hinting at movement along faults that hadn't been mapped before. At the same time, satellite radar data revealed subtle ground shifts near Samar and northern Luzon, the land lifting and sinking by just a few centimeters in a matter of weeks. These deformations suggest the crust is stretching, possibly preparing for a future release. Fivox has since launched a new AI-based early warning model capable of analyzing real-time seismic data from more than 100 sensors across the islands. It can't predict the exact moment of the next big quake, but it can flag stress anomalies, areas where strain is building faster than expected. And right now, two regions stand out. The Manila Trench off western Luzon and the Cotabato Trench in the south both show signs of increasing pressure both have been quiet for far too long. Seismologists call this the silence before rupture. When a fault stops producing small quakes, not because it's calm, but because it's locked tight. If that's true, the next major earthquake may not come from the fault we expect, but from the one that hasn't made a sound in decades. For the Philippines, earthquakes aren't random. They're a rhythm, a pulse that shaped the islands for millions of years. Every mountain ridge, every coastline, every new island that rises from the sea is a reminder that the earth here never sleeps. But recently, the tremors have been changing. The quakes are coming in clusters, deeper than before, in regions that once sat quiet. And now, scientists are watching, not for what's moving, but for what's gone silent. Maybe the next great quake will strike along the Manila Trench, sending waves toward Luzon. Maybe it'll start under Mindanao, where the ground has been humming for months. Or maybe the next rupture will come from a fault no one's mapped yet, the one still hidden beneath the surface. What do you think? Which region is most at risk? 
Luzon, Visayas, or Mindanao? Drop your theory in the comments below. I'll be reading through and pinning the best ones. And if you want to stay ahead of what's happening beneath these islands, from new fault discoveries to early warning tech, subscribe and join the community following the planet's most active fault line. Because in the Philippines, the question has never been if the ground will move, only where it will strike next.